What's up guys, it's John and Cody here with NBC and today we are gonna be showing you how to crack HGA slabs. Well, thank you all for joining us, but before we get into it, just please be sure to like this video, comment below if you have any tricks that we're not gonna show you, and be sure to subscribe before the end of the year because we're going for a freaking thousand. Freaking thousand. We need a thousand. That's right. Okay? So, tools you'll need to crack open yes. an HGA slab. You'll need these tile cutters, okay? You're gonna need those. Nothing else. If it's not tile cutting, you don't want it. <laughs> you got two flathead screwdrivers. You'll know why once we start the video, but get a small one and a thicker one. Both flat. Yep. And most importantly, you need safety glasses because, as you can tell, these plastic card holders, uh, they're going to get everywhere once we start cracking them. So, um, and final word of warning, we are not professionals. No. Uh, and this could very well damage our cards or get a lower grade, so caution. But for the record, we haven't damaged any yet. So, you know, just we're getting better. Hopefully we don't, I didn't just jinx us during this video, but we'll see. This is number so three for me. So we have two cards right here. The reason that we're going to be cracking these is first off, HGA. We bought both of these cards off of eBay and we got them for basically raw card um, pricing. Cheaper than raw card. In some cases, cheaper yeah. than raw card pricing, which is just crazy. It doesn't make any sense, especially because they're both gym mint. Now, just because it's a gym mint for HGA doesn't mean it's going to be a PSA gym mint, but you know, the fact that it shows you all the subgrades and this one was off for centering, PSA is fairly lenient with centering, leads me to believe there's a decent chance that it's going to be a PSA 10. And you can also look through the slabs themselves and kind of look at them um, and look for imperfections before you crack them. So without further ado, we're just going to go ahead and get cracking here. So these slabs, if you look at them, are fairly thick, but always what you're going to want to do, start at the corner. So there you go. Yeah, you're this really getting this plastic is uh, definitely not as brittle as the uh, CSG slabs that we we're cracking. So you're wow, going to do that. Some force into that. I'm having to put some force into that. So Watch what your we're, elbow, what we're trying right to here. do here is break the corner off, and we're getting there. You're about to break my jaw with that elbow. So I might have to twist it a little bit. We'll see. There we go. Ooh. You want to hear that cracking noise. This looks off. This looks like a terrible idea. So we're going to just put some more cra cracks into this until the edge finally goes. Now this is a solid freaking slab. There we go. All right, all right. We're going to place this. There we go. Um, the CSG slabs just kind of fall apart. Ah, man. Yeah. All right. All right. And I can, you can see, all right, I might only do one corner because that was... Um, I was terrible. Yeah, this is not brittle plastic at all. So this is going to bend. It's going to um, deform a little bit. Um, but eventually, and you can see there, I have gotten into it. So let's see how it comes up. I think once you get it started, it's going to oh, more okay. or less be the same process. So what you're going to do is kind of get it started with a smaller screwdriver. And then once you kind of got it going, you're going to switch to the thicker screwdriver and just oh. kind of pop it up like that once you're in there man yeah once you're in there we'll see and then what I like to do is put my finger against the side of the screwdriver like this as you're running it and put use your finger as a guide on the plastic so that as you're going through you can't accidentally hit your card um, with the screwdriver now the other good thing about the HGA slabs is it does have that thick plastic border all the way around which should kind of help like um, protect your your card as you're doing this. So let's get this one in there. Get it in that corner. Kind of difficult sometimes. For insurance pro policies, there we go. Uh, you still can have that screwdriver slip and hit your card with that finger there. So just keep working it all the way down the slab like that. You can see it's kind of popping up. It's like the top piece just goes over. The and bottom. then once you get to the end, you're just going to want to do the same thing over on this side. You're doing great, man. And then it's it just should like just fold up. Bam. And off. And as you can see, man, I wasn't even able to break the corner off of this HDA slab. Looks like my dog got a hold of it. <laughs> it looks like a chew toy, right? Okay, so there it is. Um, you should be able to grab the card. But what I like to do is take a microfiber cloth, throw it over the top, and then just flip it over. You just got plastic all over that microfiber, John. That's okay. And then the card is out. You can grab it at the side. 
and boom, there is your card right there, undamaged. So I'm going to flip the script here and let Cody take over so that he can give give this a shot, just so we can prove that, you know, Even it's not just me. Even Cracker can do it, okay? Uh, and just for the record, neither of us have ever cracked an HGA slab. We've cracked other slabs, but never HGA. So this is a first for us. All right. Tile cutters. All right. Two attack of Iloa. It's just a club level numbered out of 99. No big deal. Just a club level out of 99. We're going to start with the corners, like uh, Mr. John said. What the frick? <laughs> yeah. What? Been working out. Dude, I had to chew mine for like 30 freaking seconds before I was able Guess to Guess what? You only got one corner last time. I'm going to get the second side. Just now, it is not necessary to do both corners, but it, it does help. Should I not do it? You can do it. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm going to freaking do it. Yeah! I don't know what to say. I must have just had some freaking solid plastic over here, but I don't think okay, whatever. But look at that. All right, so we got Maybe our corners off. freaking Popeyes you got over here. All right, so we're gonna start off with a small one just in case, because I'm fe feeling really all right, energetic right now. All right, I just need to back up real quick. <laughs> just take a deep breath. That's the other thing. You don't want to rush this process at all. You want to make sure you stay calm because if you do you get excited and your hands start twitching a little bit? There's a good chance you damage the card. So try. This is all of our cards. Take so a I deep breath. Make sure you know. I'm... Yep. Did you switch to the thicker? Hold on. Hold on. All right. I'm gonna get it started first. All right. You might be able to go ahead and pull that label out too if you want. I might be able to do the whole. Do you think now, that's putting too much attention on? Yeah. The, the one thing I do want to say is if you do just bend up like that. There's a, a chance that the plastic's gonna just snap in half and you do run the risk a little bit of damaging the card. Okay, so don't do that. I wouldn't do that, no. Do the finger trick. Bulletproof case. HJ, you could be saving money. Cheaper plastic <laughs> cases, man, because this is ridiculous. Uh, right, but it does right. it does go to show that their their slabs are pretty solid. They are yeah, probably the bulkiest out of the slabs, I would say. Okay, so I'm at this point. Um, I have three of the corners, or I have all the corners gone, or loosened. I'm just yeah. going to peel it up. Mm -hmm. Bada bing, bada boom. There's your label. And then last but not least, ooh, this is a little bit trickier than the CSG one. Yeah, that's why I used the, the rag and flipped it over. Okay, all right. I can do that. Yeah, you can do it either way. And it should just drop out. Bam, bam, boom. Jam. Thank you, ma'am. And there she there is. is. All right, so uh, we looked into this a little further because um, I was feeling real weak after this yeah, video, and I felt bad. So <laughs> we we did observe a little bit of a difference with the the slabs. This one, it looks like it was joined at the middle of the plastic, whereas this one, it actually goes over top. Yep, the top piece completely covers the bottom piece, which is why I was struggling so hard to get it open so at some point in time hga changed uh their slabs and the one i had yeah. was bulletproof the one cody had not so much all right guys hopefully you learned something with this video if you did go ahead throw us a like and subscribe to the channel helps us out a ton this was a little bit nerve-wracking but just know that your heart rate is going to be pounding a little bit when you go to do this but you know, absolutely plausible. You can do this if you're going to resubmit to PSA. So easy guys, easy. make sure that you check out the returns because these cards are going to come back eventually. And yeah. those are going to be some fun videos when we see how these gym mint HGA cards come back for PSA. So until next time, John and Cody out, out.